How are you today? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. I've been doing okay. Been trying to stay cool. 71 is 12, 13, 14, 15, and 20. There we are, honey. You try and have a good day. Okay, you too. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, baby. Baby, take one. Tell me about Ohio. What's good about Ohio? Ohio? We have changes in seasons most of the time. Uh, we have a lot of sports teams in Ohio. The younger generation seem to care more about soccer. I pay attention a little bit because they were trying to keep the crew here, and now they're staying. So now we're getting another team. They need a, a rival. And if Cincinnati's the rival, that's great. Hell is real. Well, that could be true. There was a bit of everything in this match. It had early goals, it had late drama. You had controversy. It had blood. I think chaos is the best way to put it. The atmosphere was great. It had it all, man. Just kind of pick it up and put it on your shoulder. Uh, today, it's the day of the first uh, Hell is Real match in MLS between uh, the Columbus Crew and FC Cincinnati. We have an opportunity to prove that Ohio is black and gold. And I think we're ready to make that statement. I think we're going to make it, and we're going to make it loudly. The name Hell is Real comes from a sign that is familiar to anyone who's ever traveled between Columbus and Cincinnati. Big, big letters, Hell is Real. The fans picked up on it right away. When these two teams come together, there's going to be fire and brimstone. And obviously in a passionate in-state rivalry, maybe the loser feels like they've gone to hell. So it picked up steam. When they played in the Open Cup in 17, that's when the tensions really started to get even. Some may call it an MLS audition. Could be the start of something special, guys. The U.S. Open Cup match against Columbus was massive. It was intense. In the round where the USL teams play MLS teams, we draw the Columbus crew at home. As soon as we saw the draw, we knew it was going to be an exciting game. On the field, it was definitely chippy. Little scuffles, pressure on the ball. They were up for it. Nipper Stadium, absolutely buzzing. It is truly David versus Goliath. We thought we're going to walk in there and we will show these minor league soccer players what time it is. When GB got his head on it, it was absolute pandemonium. GB is done it! And FC Cincinnati has the lead! He scored that goal that won it for him, and they just played with 11 goalkeepers the rest of the game. Eventually, we came out victorious. FC Cincinnati wins the first ever Ohio Derby! We belong and we just showed you we belong. We achieved a historic story victory that night. It really put us on the map. And Crew SC faces a long 100-mile drive back to Columbus tonight. That was a rough summer. A couple months later, we found out that our team might be moving to Austin, Texas. Columbus Crew SC is one of the original franchises of Major League Soccer, but the team's future here in Columbus now stands in jeopardy. What the hell? Obviously the first emotion that, that you feel is just total and complete disconnection from reality. This is our thing. This is our community. This is our... This is who we are. You can't do that. Like, you just can't do that. It's unfathomable to move a, a team because of the, the roots that they, they tend to plant. Columbus is a city of firsts when it comes to soccer, so if there was gonna be a community that saved their team, why not us? Hi guys, I'm Jenny Britton Bauer, and I cannot Columbus. imagine this Tell city, your city without the it's a, it's a place that I call home, and it's, it's an integral part of my life. We love this! We love this! This is not over! We're all part of this family. Everywhere you go, you see Columbus Crew stickers on cars. We worked together every single day. Only one thought in mind, save this community, save this team, save the crew. Hearing that the Columbus Crew might leave sucked. We wanted that rivalry. We wanted them to stay so that we could beat them. <laughs> MLS is committed to keeping the crew in Columbus. Wow! On October 12th, 2018, 
It was announced that they were going to keep the crew in Columbus. You guys saved the crew. It was the happiest day of my life. That doesn't happen. Where, where does that happen? I don't know where else you see that in sports. It's the happiest of endings. It's just a truly remarkable, remarkable story. This club's here to stay. We kind of knew going into MLS that this would be a pretty rough inaugural season. We're an expansion franchise. We've had 277 days to get ready for this. We knew we'd take it on the chin a little bit this year because we just didn't have enough time. This season has been one of transition for the club. We saved the crew. Everything was sunshine and rainbows. And then on the field, it's kind of been a year of what will go wrong next. Ohio soccer tribalism at its highest. Now we're in a race to the bottom. And honestly, it gives more spice to this rivalry because if we can hand them the wooden spoon instead of us having to take it, that's just a cherry on top. Our fans want to see us beat FC Cincinnati at the very least. If we win this season, it's a success. As long as we beat the crew, it's a good year. The first ever Major League Soccer match between these two clubs. The match was one of the most intense games I've ever called for FC Cincinnati. It was non-stop action. Their foot was on the gas from the opening whistle. Cincinnati from their second corner kick of this first half. Set pieces are something that are very dangerous. We got a little fixated on Kendall Watson. I saw three guys follow Kendall. And as soon as I saw it over Kendall, I'm like, this is going in the back of the net. I actually jumped over the ball, you know, so I had to duck a little bit to try to get it on target. Yo, up, the header is in! It's Maddox! I think I did a pretty good job. From there, it rattled us a bit, and obviously gave them a lot of life, which led to the second goal. It's a cross into the box. I thought Alex, you know, my partner was going to clear it, but he didn't, so he went through all of us. And then Manuel Ledesma picking a perfect spot. And all of a sudden, less than 30 minutes in, it's 2 0. Me exalté un poco con la celebración que pateé el cartel y nada, pero bueno, es cuando se está en un estado de adrenalina altísimo y de emoción, se te apaga la tele y es lo que primero que se te sale por la cabeza. This is not how the script was supposed to go. Whenever you get punched in the face, well, there's nowhere else to go but up. After the 2-0, we had nothing to lose, so we start to play more freedom. This was the key for the comeback. At the end of the first half, crew get a little bit of momentum. It was only a small push. The referee, he could give it, and he did. I knew for sure there was contact because I wouldn't have fell. For me, uh, it's, there's no pressure with PKs. The penalty really buoyed our spirits a lot right before halftime. We can make this happen. Sancho sets off the second half. The second half begins right after the hour mark. You get a quick foul on the mob. Harrison has the wherewithal to take it short and take it quick. And then I look up and I see Pedro in some space, so I just find him. I received the ball in the pocket, and when I turned, I, I just looking the goal, and I felt confident. I saw the ball, you know, left his foot. I was like, whoa! He got a hold of that one. I scored a, a beautiful goal. The final 15 minutes of the match was completely chaotic. It was anarchy for both sides. This thing's still not over. Montar's on the ball, and it's a crossbar! It just happened so quickly. Next thing you know, I see the ball over the goal, and I'm like, how did that happen? We had four or five of the best chances that we've had all year. He's going to get it back. Disappointing that we didn't score one of those because we could have completed the comeback. And full time! You know, I'm still a little bit in shock that we didn't win the game. We should have won. 
should win. Columbus and Cincinnati thrill and delight to a final of 2-2 at Monterey. A draw leaves things up in the air. FC Cincinnati still has never lost to the Columbus crew. The game at Nipper will be difficult. Our number one priority is to beat the crew. It's going to take everything. There will be more fans. There will be more energy. And there will probably be more hostility. I think it's good. You need healthy competition. If there's no competition, if everybody's got the same thing and it's all fair, what fun is it? That's what competition's for. <laughs>